Hello and welcome to installing Python on Microsoft Windows Vista. <clears throat> we already have JEdit installed, so we'll just use that as our text editor. The JEdit's not critical. So where we go is we go to www.python.org and we um, go to the download section when it when it loads download section and we are going to pick the Python 2.5 Windows installer and download that we're gonna save it to our desktop All right, so right there's our desktop go ahead, take a minute to download Okay, so now the download is completed, so we're going to uh, run the installer. The installers come onto our desktop right there, but I'll I'll just run it by clicking on this uh, run. It asks if it's okay to run it, so we'll go ahead and run it. I'm going to close my web browser in the background here, and I will indeed install it for all users. I'll accept that. Just say yes, and then go ahead and run this. So now uh, it's done, so we'll finish it. And so we're in pretty good shape. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to throw this in the trash can. Just uh, I'll get rid of that later, but I don't want to confuse myself. Now we've got to do a, a bit of a tricky thing here. We've got to fix the runtime path environment. So watch this next step closely. So I click on the Start button. I go to contr Control Panel. And then I click on System Path and put that in search and I tell it I want to edit the environment system environment variables so this brings me to a dialog box that allows me to edit the environment variables so I'll bring that up and the variable that I want to edit is the path so I see the path and I click edit okay so I'll, uh, I'll put this way over here so it's a little easier to see. So this is a variable named path, and this is the variable's value. So you want to be careful when you're editing this. So the trick here is to click in it and then use your cursor. I'm moving my cursor so that I'm at the very end of the file, with, uh, at the path, without changing it. And I'm going to add some text. Sem semicolon. C colon backslash python25 with a capital P and a capital C. So I'm going to say that, okay? So the thing to do is, it doesn't matter what's here before, you just have to add. Now, if you see Python already there, you don't add it again. But if you don't see Python, then you add it with a semicolon, okay? Then I'm going to save it. I'm going to say okay. If you get confused here, just hit cancel, 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 and just nothing will happen. You, It's okay for, for you to get help on this. It's okay for someone else to do this, because this step you only have to do once, okay? So I'll press okay to save it. I'll press okay here and then I'll press OK here. And now I'm going to see if it actually works by trying to run Python in a Windows command line interface. You start this by hitting the Start button, and then here in Search you type Command, oops, Command, and click on Command Prompt. This is the Command Prompt. If all goes well, you can sit here and say Python minus minus version, two dash signs, And if you see this 2.52, it means that you're talking to Python, and Python's installed properly. So let's play a little bit with Python here. Let's say Python with, interactively. So I type Python, and it gives me this three uh, greater than, greater than, greater than prompt. So I'm, it's asking me to talk Python to it, so I'll do that. I'll say print, hello, there, oops, there, Chuck. And Python will say hello there, Chuck, and I'll tell Python to add 4 plus 10, and Python can indeed add 4 plus 10. And I'll ten tell Python I'm tired of this game, and so I want to quit with uh, parentheses, and that tells Python that we're done with that. So now I'll close this command line, and I will uh, run JEdit and edit myself a small program. seem to want the tips. So I'm going to create a small program. Let's 
say hello, print hello Chuck and print 12 times 12. And then I'm going to use File, Save As, and I'm going to go into C colon Users, CSEV, Desktop, and I'm going to name this program first.py. When I save it, you will see that it appears on the desktop. Okay? And um, so now I can, you can click on it, but watch what happens. It runs, and unless you have instant speed, you can't see the output. So this is why I like to use the command line instead. So I have the command prompt here as a shortcut. You can do the same thing, but remember it's command, command line. And I can say cd desktop, and I can type the command dir and see the files that are on my desktop. This right here, that's first.py. That's the same as this file on my desktop. To run that in Python, I simply type python first.py. And it reads that file, reads the Python in it, and then runs it. it says hello Chuck N144. Now, I can hit up arrow and it, it, it will scroll backwards through the command. So if I want to do it more than once, I just hit up arrow. So if I want to make a, a change to my file, I 12 times 1200, and then I use the uh, pencil icon to save it, and then I switch back here and I just hit the up arrow and it runs the changed program. So it's pretty much that simple. Okay? Thanks.